Now, if you could all have a little look in your uh, in your drawers, uh, oh. there should oh, be. I didn't know it was that kind Which of show. One's dead. Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah. There should be a mystery item for you. It's basically a mystery object round. It's trying to work out what that is. Some kind of very cheaply made pterodactyl toy. <laughs> <laughs> what purpose do you think this could serve? So bizarre. And some kind of... Is it a weird wine opener? I don't understand. It's got blades, Dave. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll narrow oh, it down for it... you. Is it an eyedrop dispenser? No. An egg cracker or a chicken stuffer? Mm, maybe. Be it is an eyedrop dispenser, but out of what kind of... Could be an egg cracker. Oh. You're absolutely right. It is indeed an egg cracker. Um, I can demonstrate. Oh, look, um, they're idiots. Actually. It says easy cracker. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it had the answer written on it, literally. Um, you've, you've all got one. I'll just... Here you go, uh, Jess. Just, oh, um... my God! <laughs> nice one. Well held. <laughs> Can yeah, you do that you again can't... with one that isn't hard boiled? Oh, no. <laughs> you take the bowl and pass it up. Okay, take a bowl and an Thank egg. You. Have right. an egg. Oh, I love coming to your party today. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, look at that. Ooh, it's so a separator as well. So oh, oh, that's yeah. beautiful. Guess that... <laughs> look at that. Yeah. No, that's. <laughs> oh. I mean, Jess, you just had two people do it right. Right. <laughs> At them. And then you held it sideways. <laughs> Your egg separator can't work sideways. I'm sorry, I'm an egg cracking amateur. Oh, no, my, <laughs> my favourite thought is, is the Kinder Egg, if you do it one of those. <laughs> Which is actually the first time one of those has actually contained a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For my money, the person who invented the easy egg cracker, they are basically twice as good as most inventors, I think. I'll tell you why. If you study invention, people will tell you that the first step to coming up with an invention is identifying a problem and then trying to solve it, OK? But the easy egg cracker inventor is twice as good as that because he hasn't identified a problem and then solved it. Oh, no, 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 no. There is no problem with cracking eggs. Yeah. <laughs> so he hasn't just invented the solution, he's invented the problem as well. <laughs> Which is why the infomercial looks like this. You can crack them this way. he's right, you can. <laughs> but you wouldn't, would you? <laughs> you can also just run through your house like... Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> and I can crack it that way, but no one does that. You can crack them that way. Oh. <laughs> but again, you absolutely wouldn't. You this. can crack them like this. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is my absolute favourite part of the art. Oh. And we've all done this. <laughs> A show of hands in the room. <laughs> Who has done that? <laughs> Nobody has done exactly that. Exactly, no. And look, they've already done, done one egg right correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Which suggests <laughs> either that that technique worked <laughs> or they did it properly the first time and they're like, ah, yeah. oh, try something else now. <laughs> Because you, you have lost me at this point, because I've got three boys who love to bake, and it does look like that. <laughs> <laughs> so the easy egg cracker is basically the cure for all this mess that none of us, apart from your children, <laughs> yeah. Sally, were ever making. Introducing Easy Cracker, the ingenious new product that lets you crack open eggs, separate eggs, even crack hard-boiled egg quickly and easily without the mess. How did it do the hard-boiled egg? There's like a scissor circumcision function that goes around the egg. <laughs> the easy briss. <laughs> it's a little rabbi in a box. Comes <laughs> it's as easy as one, two, three, four skin. <laughs> This is the thing I like most about infomercials in general. They have to find actors capable of portraying monstrous incompetence as if it was the most normal thing on earth. We all know how hard it is to cook pasta, right? Nope. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that I ever learned that. It's no. pretty easy. Exactly. But if you're the makers of a plastic microwave pasta dish called Pasta and More... It's the amazing new 5-in-1 pasta cooker that serves perfect pasta without the hassle. <laughs> you have to invent the hassle. Yes. 
<laughs> so you have to invent a world where this happens. Are you tired of fussing with giant <laughs> pasta pot? Woman who wants to make some spaghetti, okay? I'll just, uh, this is what they've actually got in this advert. So, in order for her to make spaghetti, what she obviously needs in their world is a large pan. She needs a large pan, we know that. She also needs a sieve, okay? And then she's got to get a wooden spoon, okay? And then she's got to get a slotted spoon, okay? And then she's got to get some salt, okay? And then she's got to get some oil, all right? And then she's got to get an incredibly complicated kitchen timer with three <laughs> different timers on it that no one really needs. And then she's got to get her spaghetti, which she's already taken out of the packet. Yeah. And then she's got to get all of it from one counter to another. And how would it be possible for someone to carry <laughs> all of these items? <laughs> Simply, it's just, it's just not possible. It's just not. Can't be done. Can't be done. There you go. It just, it just can't be done. It's almost superhuman to be able to do that, isn't it? <laughs> This is where the real creativity comes in with these products, I think. So my question to you is, do you have what it takes to make it as an infomercial actor? We'll start off with something relatively easy, OK? Let's have a look at the, uh, a bit of the ad. Well, now they shoot Dini! <laughs> oh. This is the shoe Dini. This is a telescoping shoehorn to help people put on or take off shoes with ease. <laughs> So, does anyone think they, they would like to audition for the role of person who can't put shoes on? I'll give it a go. Nap it, the, the floor is yours. So, I don't need a product, obviously. No, no, I no. Just so it's, it's just your inability to put, to put on. Shoes on, so yeah, I'll take yeah, them yeah. off first. Okay. Although, God, you did that so easily. Yeah. <laughs> That bit. <laughs> That's, that wasn't part of the audition. OK, OK. But I'll tell you what, let's, let's make this a little bit easier. I've, I've got the script for that advert. And uh, let's imagine I'm the casting director for the commercial. So we, we need people to represent three different things in the advert, OK? So the, the first bit of the read is as follows. Bending over to put your shoes on is a back-breaking chore. <laughs> It's very good, it's very good, it's very good. <laughs> now, the next line is, one wrong step and you could end up on the floor. <laughs> Desiree, she knows this, she can own this. Very nice. <laughs> works for me, works for me. The last line of uh, we need represented is, and trying to get them off can hurt even more. <laughs> okay, I want to kick myself in the face with a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> can I do it? Can I? Can I? Whoa! I am pretty convinced that the three of you have got the job. <laughs> should, should, we, should we see how they did it in the actual advert? Yeah. Should we see how they did it? Let's have a little look. Bending over to put your shoes on is a back-breaking chore. One wrong step, you could end up on the floor. And trying to get them off can hurt even more. <laughs> slip-on shoe. <laughs> Should we see how our commercial measures up okay. compared to the real one? OK. <laughs> Bending over to put your shoes on is a back-breaking chore. <laughs> one wrong step and you could end up on the floor. <laughs> and trying to get them off can hurt even more. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. 